YouTube, what's up guys? Welcome back to the channel, welcome back to Washington. We got the Toyota Tundra in the background. Today we're gonna to be installing some aftermarket tail lights. I am so excited. I got a bunch of boxes for the Toyota Tundra. We got a, uh, what did I, cold air intake tail lights, because we're gonna be doing that. Exhaust, uh, lift kit, um, lots of parts, lots of parts. So this video what we're gonna be doing is some uh, amazing LED, I think they're Anzo, A-N-Z-O tail lights, very nice brand. I like Anzo, I've used their products. I think it's made in America, I think it's made in California. Um, these are aftermarket tail lights for the 2007 to 2013 Toyota, uh, Toyota Tundra. Um, they're amazing. So they're smoked, uh, I've already unboxed them, so let's look at them. So this is what I've got in the box right here. These are amazing. I looked at one of them. Very, 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 very aesthetic. Like really, really perfect. Will fit my truck. It'll make the truck look a lot more modern. Um, look more expensive in my opinion. Um, I do like that they actually did the black housing right around here. This is all black, black. Um, looks really aesthetic right here compared to the original ones. Let's go out to the truck and I'll show you the original ones. Currently here's the original ones. Lots of chrome. Big old hunk of chrome. Um, the, the new ones are in pretty good, or the original ones are in pretty good condition. Um, they are interesting because they like, continue all the way around here, and I like that a lot actually. I said that in one of my other videos. But uh, we're going to be removing these ones. I'll show you guys how to do it. Before we need to do a nice car wash, as always, car, the truck is filthy. Uh, my fiance drives it a lot, and um, yeah, it's dirty. So we're going to do a nice car wash. Um, of course, I don't want to show you guys the car wash part. You guys have seen me wash all my cars. Let's get some light on me, like a thousand times. So that being said, what I'll do is a quick car wash and then I'm gonna show you guys how to drop the tailgate and then how to remove the uh, old ones and then install the Anzo aftermarket. They're gonna be amazing transformation. Let's go ahead and jump into it. This truck is gonna be so amazing. So once you have a nice fresh wash, maybe a little quick wax like I did, um, you're able to now, I want a clean surface. I always like to do clean surfaces when I work on my truck or any of my vehicles. You're gonna lower the gate. Again, I wanna re-line re excess because I don't know what that is, like pain or something. Um, what you're gonna do now is come right here and there's gonna be a little hex bolt. And these, are the, these little hex bolts are what's gonna be holding in these tail lights. So let's go ahead and pop those out now. Okay, so uh, we started with the uh, driver's side. This guy would not come off. Look, what a pain. Uh, we're gonna have to break this off. You can see how rusted it is on the back side here. Of course it's not gonna come off. Uh, you're probably gonna have the same thing. So you could probably come up underneath and put some WD-40 on here. Um, since these are OEM ones, I don't really care. I just broke them off. You guys see that? So uh, I just muscled it off. I don't recommend doing this. Um, I've seen a lot of people on, uh, or read a lot of people on the forums have the same issue where that's rusted. It's very, very common. And they do a star bolt. I hate star bolts. Why would you ever do a star bolt? I'm anti-star bolt. Um, or hex or whatever you guys call them. There's a lot of names for them. We're going to break this thing off right now. Uh, once I break that thing off, we're going to go to the store and buy some of these. And I'll tell you what size they are um, because I'm going to use these new headlights, which are freaking gorgeous. Um, those mounts right there, I'm going to find the ones that fit the clips pr properly. So I'll actually bring one of those to the auto parts store and then I'll tell you guys which size it is. Let's break this one off right here, get rid of this thing, and then we'll go ahead and uh, pop the other, the other one off. See you guys, and look, I was able to get the two top ones, but the two bottom ones are just not happy. So let's go ahead and pull, try to pull it off. And honestly, what I just did was literally just go like this, and I pulled on it and popped it and it broke it off. So I'll do it with this one too. Typically, I really don't recommend breaking any OEM stuff at all. Like, you can sell it, you can give it to someone else, whatever. Um, but in this case, they were both rusted on there. And, you know, I don't recommend, this isn't gonna be the perfect how-to to do it, but the after result's gonna be worth it. I'm not gonna sell these, I'm just gonna throw them away, recycle them. But uh, if you're trying to sell yours, or you're trying to do a really diligent job, if you have a newer car that doesn't have any water or rust on it, it'll probably come off, but it was, um, read, I read it online, and that seemed to be a, a reoccurring incident. And you guys can see the same thing right here, rust, and then the little plastic guy just came off. So let's just go ahead and, um, we're, and of course we're gonna clean all this in here and make it look all nice and fresh. But let's go ahead and break this off, go to the auto parts store, and then come back and finish the install of these amazing Anzo, beautiful blacked out LED tail lights. Okay, I ended up getting a, a little pipe saw, a steel blade pipe saw to cut that off. You probably don't have to do that, maybe you will, maybe you won't. Um, and then I went to the store and bought some M, six uh, by 20 millimeters uh, bolts. Also, I got some uh, washers. Uh, so it'll be a nice new clean setup. You might have to do this, you might not, just depends. But hey, uh, you know, if the company that's selling it to you says it's really easy, it could be, 
this this bolt there we go i got it off you might have the same issue you might not but now we're clear let's clean up the rest of this i got wd-40 um usually what i just do honestly is just that literally i'll go like this okay like that you can even do it on the wires let it sit for i don't know two minutes and then come back and wipe it all dry okay what you're gonna do is grab the headlight that matches so we're doing the passenger side now um we're gonna connect so you can do this one first let's do that one first get it out of the way so you'll take the 3m tape off it might be a good idea to get a heat gun out here but we're just gonna go with it without it like that and then we cleaned off the surface and just put it right there it's stuck like a charm okay now that that's stuck on here we're gonna go we're gonna work our way up um we're gonna start with the bottom guy right here so go ahead and put this one in there should fit flush okay and then once you do that you're gonna want to put that install that into the socket there so you don't get any water so push it all the way in right there see that guys so you're gonna push it in line it up and then righty tidy so it should be connected and before we mount this of course we're gonna come and test all these then you're gonna do the short the next shorter one so the lower one on the wire harness followed by the top one so let's get the top guy out of the way and then we'll do the middle one right there okay middle one perfect clip good now we're going to install it into the light i don't know if you guys can see that and then let me bring you guys around here real quick okay so there we go so bottom one's in middle one's in top one's in just put the wires back in find the spot righty righty tidy like that should be pretty tight oem fit now what you're going to do is you're going to put the headlight in or tail light excuse me and these should have two clips which they do let's make sure we get all the wires out of the way there's going to be a top one up here that buttons in and then a lower one that buttons in so line it up properly so it gets a perfect little flush fit and then we'll see if the light works bam okay these are amazing they're smoke they look so good indicator works um the line works so i'm actually going to run to the car real the truck real quick gosh that looks good uh push the brakes on and make sure the brake light comes on i'll watch the film back let me watch the film back All right, I watched the film back. That was good news. It fit perfectly. So what we're going to do now is take these new bolts that I got here. Um, it does the car, the, the car, the tail lights are flush. So we're going to take the new washers that I bought um, and then the, which you can just get anything that lines up with this, obviously. And then the um, M6 metric six, and then we're going to put them in here. Now I was going to get black ones. I wish I would have, but I couldn't find any at the store. So hopefully these should all fit flush. Yeah, so this is going to look good. I might go over and paint it. So we'll get one in. We'll do finger tight. And then this is the case. We're not, we're not going to have the bolts get stuck again. Um, one, I think these things are made out of uh, zinc. So they shouldn't, they shouldn't rust. And then two, they're not the uh, hex key or whatever you guys call these. Whatever this is called. I hate that style. It's very German. I don't know why it's on this tundra. So let's go ahead and do the same thing. Goes in. Perfect flush fit on both those. Okay, so we're going to do finger tight. And then we'll come back and tighten both these up, the hardware up. And then I'm going to actually go over with a little bit of paint if I have some. Okay, so see the top bolt and then the bottom bolt? That's why I go over it. So just a little bit of nail polish. It'll make all the difference. This is like a dollar. Just go over it. Just go over it. Black nail polish. It makes it a little bit, a little bit cleaner, more aesthetic. Tail light looks amazing. So that's one done. I didn't do them very tight. I didn't want to break them. So, I, you know, I did them pretty tight, but not too tight. The LEDs look amazing. The turn indicators look amazing. And then, of course, the uh, brakes look amazing. So, just a really, really nice, clean, aesthetic setup. Uh, it actually follows the exact same body line as the OEM one, which I'm pretty thankful for. So, um, the OEM one, I think, is just slightly more rounder. Yes, yeah, slightly more rounded. But it's the same. It's not a very sharp, sharp, and sharp. So, I like that. Again, same thing. Look at this. What a hunk of junk. So I ended up taking the hacksaw, hacking that off. Um, you could have bought bolt cutters if you have bolt cutters. I don't know if you could have fit it in there, a bolt cutter. Maybe if you came this way with a bolt cutter, but oh well. So let's clean this thing up. Pull out these bulbs, same thing. These bulbs, you really gotta wiggle on them to get them out. Clean it all up um, and then put the uh, new tail light in. I am gonna go and do a, put the old one in and then do a comparison uh, photo and then uh, have my fiance come see. Oh man, that looks so mean. 
So um, on camera, it's gonna look orange. In person, it's very bright red. Um, very, very bright red. So I, I know it looks orange to you. It is not orange, it's just the way the camera is. Unfortunately, um, you have to be here in person, but it is bright red. It is not orange and it is so nice. So I'm waiting for my fiance to come see. So I'm gonna have her look at the original ones. All right, all right, you ready for your reaction? Here she comes. Oh my gosh, you're filming me? No, I won't film you, I'll just film you. I'll hear your voice, come on, come here. I won't film you. Okay, here's the old one. Old one? Uh-huh. All right, check out the new one. Oh my gosh! Aren't those sick? That is so sick! Yeah, and I'll watch for the uh, turn signals. They're pretty cool too. Wow! Yeah, she likes it. And then we'll do the uh, brake. Looks pretty cool, huh? So good. Okay. <laughs> All right, thanks for your reaction. She likes it, you approve? I definitely approve. Is it red or orange? The tail lights. Mm. These right here, are they red or orange? Not it's this. sunshine red, what do you mean? Oh, cause on camera it looks orange. It doesn't look like that at all, No, it? it's definitely red. Yeah, it's definitely red. Okay guys, same thing. So uh, remove the 3M tape off of the, I can't think of a ballast. That's what it is, it's an LED ballast. So it's pretty sticky and I didn't, I cleaned it again. So it should, should stick to something in here. Let's see here. Okay, bolt by bolt. Ballast is stuck on there. Again, we're gonna do, start with the lower one. We'll do the lower guy. You just put it in. Remember just to push it in and then you put it into the headlight. I don't know if you guys can see that. Let's look here, I'm gonna move you guys. Okay, and then you can just do the headlight like this. Now we'll go ahead and do the middle one with the middle one. Okay, and then the top one with the top one. And they get a nice firm clip. It's a good clip. Then you just wire, the, and then you just slide the wires from the aftermarket, the Anzos in and then you find the big hole so where's the big hole Let's see here so then you find a big hole that line it up turn right locked in it's pretty simple same thing wire it in so you follow the wires back into the headlight and then you just do find the holes that fit that align and then you kind of just do a righty tidy on them that and then righty tighty and then there should be no water that comes into these there shouldn't be any condensation I've known that people said that you just you gotta make sure that you tighten these tight otherwise you'll get water condensation in it and we're not trying to get any condensation there you go so all of them are tight now the ballast is put on here so you should be able to just to line this back in it should sit flush so let's go ahead and do that Okay, perfect. So um, it does sit in there. It does rust in there by itself. Very simple. So now what you guys are wanna do is use the, they should supply the uh, hardware, but they don't. We'll use our hardware from the um, home store or not the auto parts store. And again, I just did finger tight and then just t like one little torque. I didn't want, I really did not wanna over tighten these. So I'd do the same thing. And then we'll go over both of them with black paint to give it that OEM, more better than OEM look, hiding, hiding the hardware. Like that, so again, finger tight. And these were M6s, I believe, so if you're at metric six is what you're gonna get for the uh, bolt. And then actually, believe it or not, the bolt, the backing of it is a 10 millimeter that I got. So it's a 10 millimeter that's gonna, you're gonna use a uh, 10 millimeter, tighten it, finger tight, and then I'll go over with the 10 millimeter. And then we'll go make sure that all the lights turn back on and check our work. And then we'll be done. And you guys will see an amazing um, cinematic intro. So just like this. I don't want to over tighten these. So muscle tight. Like that. Okay. And then muscle tight. Like that. And I think that's fine. Alright, let's grab some paint. Paint these and finish it up.
Done deal. Look how much better those bolts look. Guys, you gotta do it. Just a little bit of fingernail polish. If not, you can take them off and rattle can them, whatever you got, but oh my gosh, what a difference. Definitely recommend these. This truck looks mean. Oh my gosh. That is awesome. So these are a little bit more on the expensive side. They're about $300. I think I can get them for a lower price of maybe like $250. But you can get the single ones if you want or the double. I went with the double to match the uh, Alpha Rex fronts. But these are beautiful. So this is definitely going to be how to install. Oh my gosh. It looks so good. So I always like to tell you guys like what's the difficulty on this. The difficulty is actually a little bit harder because of those bolts. So I'm gonna give it like, I usually give this stuff like a one, but I'm probably gonna give it a two because you're probably gonna have to get extra tools to break off that bolt. So, um, I mean, this car has 100,000 miles on it and you know, it just depends. Maybe you guys will be able to get it off right away. Um, but you know, even with the hex on and the right, the right um, socket for it, it still didn't want to come off. It still stripped it or, or, or broke. So I would recommend, um, you know, making sure that, hey, watch this video all the way through. Do the little hacksaw, the pipe little hacksaw, that works really good. Other than that, I mean, it's a one star. It's just literally two bolts and some plug and play wires. Um, they did a really, really, really good job with these tail lights. They look fantastic. Man, it makes this truck look super mean. My truck looks so mean. So we're gonna be probably doing um, the lift kit next, uh, followed by the um, exhaust, followed by the intake. So I hope this is helpful for someone. Make sure to like, subscribe, enjoy that cinematic intro. What amazing, what an amazing difference. Uh, this is awesome. This is a good looking truck. Like, subscribe, swing by Mr. Com. See you guys on the next video.